Welcome to a new episode of Bass Habits. Today we are going to talk about new metal. We're going to talk about Korn and their bass player, Fieldy. Korn are considered the pioneers of new metal music. And when they came out in the early 90s, their style was described as a mix of metal, funk and hip hop. Rage Against the Machine had just hit it big with their debut album, so mixing funk and metal music wasn't something completely unheard of. However, there is one factor that made Korn sound different from any other band of the time. The weird clicking haunting sound of the bass guitar. When they first came out, Korn had a pretty unique sound, nothing heard until then. And for me, the bass guitar was the odd element that made the band sound so different. Back in the 90s, we had no internet and we knew very little about new bands. And Korn came with a certain mystique. A urban legend said that to get his trademark sound, their bass player used strings made out of human bowels, provided to him by singer Jonathan Davis, who worked in the morgue. I swear to God, this is an actual story that circulated among kids in 1995. So let's take a look at some of the reasons that make Fieldy a bass player that you need to know. Number one, the setup. First of all, a 5 string bass is mandatory. You will need the additional string to reach the extremely low sounds that characterize Korn's rhythm section. On top of that, you need to tune your bass a whole step down. This has two benefits. One, you can actually reach a lower note. And two, the looser strings will help you get in the typical clanky sound. But that's not enough. You also need to bring your action as low as you can possibly get. Well, actually a bit lower than that. Number 2 EQ. Scoop the mids, turn up the low end and the treble goes to 10. This creates a big frequency gap in the mid range that can be occupied by the guitars. As a result, you can turn up the bass really loud in the mix and Korn did it, especially in the early records. So put on some headphones and listen how the bass sits in the mix. Honestly, I can't name another band with a similar setup. Number 3. The slapping or the smacking. Fieldy keeps his bass really low and his slapping technique reminds vaguely of the one of Flea. Anyway, the angle of what hits the bass is really weird and combined with the unconventional sound setup contributes creating this percussive style bass and an overall different way to play the instrument. I wanted to come with some different like clicking and percussion style. Almost everything about bass I don't like. Still, it's his slappish playing style, combined with the funky chops of the drums, typical of Korn, that create the funky element they're known for. Number 4. The Evil Intervals From a composition standpoint, there's not much to say about Fieldy, but there is one trait that really stands out. Korn's music is creepy and mysterious and has a lot of tension all the time. Pretty much every song is written on a minor key and revolves around minor chords. The bass, however, takes the spookiness to another level. Especially in the verses with a low dynamic, Fieldy plays with a softer touch, sounding more like a regular bass, but hitting some really evil notes. He makes a large use of the Locrian scale, blasting out tritons like there's no tomorrow. Another figure that comes up all the time is the Triton with the higher octave. By my side, what do you make me? You take my pride in, in my eyes. You can Can it get any more evil than this? The answer is yes. By adding a flat 9 interval to the equation, you get a super evil flat 5 flat 9 chord.
Flat 9 is one of the most dissonant intervals you can have and combined with a triton creates a seriously disturbing atmosphere and it's highly responsible for the spooky quality of the music of Korn. Number 5. The Hand Rubbing Another of Fieldy's trademark moves is a sort of unusual slide he pulls off using the palm of his hand. The weird sound he gets reminds a bit of an 808 bass and can be easily mistaken for a sample. Fieldy is often mistreated or even laughed at by the bass community. His technique might not be perfect compared to modern standards we see on YouTube, but he's an original. In my opinion, he's the biggest contributor to the standout sound of the early corn and surely adds a lot of rhythmic intensity to the music of the band. I remember someone handing me the cassette of their second album, Life is Peachy, and telling me, man, you gotta listen to this band. The singer works in the morgue, the bass player is fucking mental. So once again, you don't need to be technically advanced to make good music. And by the way, do you know what's the first of the top 5 tips for bassists that Fieldy gave in an interview with Music Raider? Don't try to sound like someone else. So once again, please consider this video like an analysis of what works for Korn and what elements make Fieldy a standout bass player. Thank you very much for watching, please subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram.